Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is my daughter Skyla. You've met her before in some of my vlogs. And today we are spending the day together. Uh, she got a haircut, which I'll show some um, pictures of her before. We're gonna do some shopping because she's actually moving. Sorry, <laughs> but it's just for a semester for now and uh, so she leaves in a couple of weeks and then um, and then she'll be back in December but we're gonna just focus on the day mm -hmm. and sort of take you with us yeah and we're gonna have fun all of us yeah. first stop was getting her hair cut second stop is Dollar Tree for it. okay yeah, I, was I know like, so which one are we going to I know, first? Sorry. <laughs> yeah Dollar Tree first and then we have other places and um, we'll go get some coffee or something Whoa. at some point It is. So I kind of like that yellow too. Mm -hmm. Halloween, the Christmas. So we maybe went a little nuts. Okay, maybe I went a little nuts. I went nuts too, though. <laughs> we just got out of uh, Dollar Tree. It's kind of crowded for, yeah. don't you think? I mean, there it's the middle of the afternoon. People. What's that? There were too many people. Yeah, I understand that we have to wear the masks and all that, but it is harder to like, you feel hotter, you know, especially right mm -hmm. now. So what did you get? What was your snack of choice right now? It is Reese's white chocolate peanut butter cups. And I got combos. I prefer the pizza combos, but these ones are the cheddar cheese, and they're good too. So we will have a haul later. I will at least. Yeah. And then, um. Hopefully I'll be included in that. Yeah. Oh, doing the haul? Mm-hmm. All right. We'll we can see. do one together. Here That's too. true. We have to see where and when, because like with this quarantine and her dad's always working from home, so it is like, there's just always people around, which isn't a bad thing, it just makes it harder to film. That's true. We're gonna go to Dunkin' and get coffee, and uh, we might go to Michael's or Ross or something, just to kind of look around a little bit. And if we do that, we'll have a haul from that as well. There's mine, there's Skylar's, there's Skylar herself. Hey. <laughs> and we also got donuts one each. <laughs> yes. So we got our drinks and I would recommend this one. It is a mocha. This is only a medium. Doesn't that look big? Mm -hmm. I can't imagine the large. What is yours again? It's an iced latte. It's a medium iced latte with almond milk. Um, three caramel swirls, which I guess is kind of like three pumps of caramel. Okay. And then a French vanilla shot. Oh, okay. Then this is an ice signature latte, a medium. It says original cocoa, which I guess is it's my least favorite word. <laughs> One of my least favorite words. It's weird. I know everybody loves the word cocoa, but I can't stand the word cocoa. Anyway. You just also said it I keep times saying in a row. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, I'd like to say hot chocolate, but I don't know why. I don't know if anybody else has a word that just like drives you nuts. For me, it's moist. Yeah. It, that just sounds so gross. I think it's for a lot of people. That's true. But I can't stand the word I keep saying. So I would just say um, hot chocolate, like whenever we're making that particular beverage, mm -hmm. I say hot chocolate. But anyway, this one is mocha and I use skim milk and I got it with less ice but it's very good not too sweet yeah for me it's pretty sweet but I also like it that way well, do you want to go to Michael's sure I mean I'll be happy no matter where we go because we went home <laughs> no 
Do you want to go home? No. I okay. Just, I want to so spend my time with you. <laughs> so I don't really need anything in particular, but I haven't been to Michael's in ages. So, uh, you need to pull me away from the yard section, though, because I will literally spend hours there if I'm left to my oh, own devices. Yeah. yeah. Well, we did find yarn at uh, Dollar Tree, so there's that. That's true. And that was a good find because they even had some darker colors and some fall colors. I was happy about that. She was happy to find the yarn, too. And so Michaels, we'll just go look around and uh, spend time together. Woo! I forgot to mention too that these drinks we got through the um, app. I was trying to show you a little sticker. We got them through the app and they have the curbside pickup, which I think most of them do. Mm -hmm. So that's handy if you don't want to like go into the store. On sale. This is super cute. It is, I think. It's 80% off. All of it? I think, because look, here's the thing up there. Well, it says pool, pool party supplies. Unfortunately, you can't pack that. Okay. But you could have it for when you get back. That's true. Life is sweet. Just like you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you. Look at all this fall. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I feel about this. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like fall all That's the time. True. That's a good point. Look how cute these are. Her favorite aisle. It's my favorite aisle in this entire store. <laughs> I like knitting so much. Ooh, that's a great fall color. It's so pretty. And I was making um, a scarf out of like this consistency of yarn. Uh -huh. I don't know what it's called specifically. Yeah. But, um, so I could use this as like an alternate color maybe. I don't hmm. know though. We'll Is see. it a complementary color? Yeah. The color I was using was like this color gray, but it was smaller than this. Oh, yeah. So if you like. That these, would work. Yeah, these would work together. Probably. Definitely. Look at all that Halloween. following our arrows, right? <laughs> that is some serious coffee. Put your hand next to it so we can tell how big it is. That is some big Probably bagel. bigger than my face. <laughs> <laughs> that is some seriously big, that's a big coffee mug. Mm-hmm. My kind of coffee. Oh, so, <laughs> I would love that. Start the day that way. So the Dunkin' Donuts and Michaels are in the same plaza as a um, Ross. So of course we had to go in there and Obviously. get things we didn't necessarily need. But she got actually that dress or that skirt. Yeah, that skirt is real pretty. It's yeah. really nice. Very fall, mm -hmm. and it suits her style. And yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, me too. And so she'll have that as a uh, something else she can take with her. Ooh, did we say where you're going? Minnesota. I don't think we did. She's going to Minnesota. And in case you don't know, we're in Northern Virginia, so it's a good 18 hours away if we were to try to drive it straight yeah. through. Yeah. Obviously, she's flying. She's gonna have like sort of a, her version of the day, or like from her perspective. Mm -hmm. So I will put a link to her channel in the description box below. So go check out her channel and um, subscribe to her as well. And you'll also get to see her upcoming adventures in Minnesota, Minnesota which will be before we know it, mm. way before I want it, way before Aww. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all right. So um, 
yeah so definitely uh check out her channel and you'll get to see this day as well but different perspective so this is the skirt she got super cute how much did you pay for that i forget it was 12.99 it's very cute for fall mm -hmm. the socks are a nice touch absolutely <laughs> <laughs> very cute My daughter Skylar has moved to Minnesota. The first part of this video was filmed uh, a couple of weeks ago and we just got so caught up in the preparation for her leaving and everything that went into that and also just other things going on. So we unfortunately didn't get to film this together. This was a haul from Dollar Tree, Michaels and Ross. I didn't get a lot at Michaels or Ross but I did get a ton at Dollar Tree, so we're gonna get right into that. Yeah, I found the minis again, the little Thomas uh, blind bag minis. Next, I found this movie trivia game. It seems like it's probably just like a deck of, of cards and then instructions in there. And it is, you can play head to head or in teams. And actually Skylar got one of a set of these too for her and her boyfriend to play. So I picked these up. Now these are to hold pool noodles. It says pull noodle bag. I figured I might try to use this for um, storing wrapping paper. And being that it's on a string, it might work to hang it up somewhere. So I'm not positive because it doesn't look super deep, but we'll see. Next, I picked up this basket, which is just like a light purple. So the plastic I thought was cute with the basket weave, and then I'm going to DIY it to make it not be this purple color. I picked up some more of these um, vacuum storage bags. I love these. These are great for travel. They're great for storage in general. These are the large size, but I wish they actually made like an extra large because you can hold some things in here, but not a ton. Uh, I, I still use them and I still like them. I found this mask. It is a blueberry with green tea. And I had already had one that was strawberry and then there was a sunflower. The sunflower one Skylar took with her. I believe she took it with her to Minnesota, but that was hers. Then the strawberry and the blueberry. They're the paper masks and that's actually the kind I prefer most of the time. Another thing from the health and beauty section, I found these shower fizzers. I think it is a set of three. I'm not one for bath bombs or anything like that, but I thought the shower fizzers were kind of a cool idea. I was hoping to find them in the eucalyptus because I think that would be like such a nice scent. Plus, Alexa loves that scent anyway. I've got these cute little things. They're called cushy grips. I just thought they'd be fun. I mean, my kids are older, but even just to put them at the top of your pencil to kind of fiddle around with this mermaid pen. I think I've seen people haul these before. This is going to be for Alexa. Very pretty. This giant donut eraser for Alexa as well. I'm sure you could have guessed that if you've watched my channel before. And then these really cute little pom-pom paper clips. Quite adorable. I have a set of Snickers, which I think got melted when we were shopping. <laughs> they feel a little deformed in there now, and they were not like that when we first got them, but it will not matter. The kids will still eat them. Creamsicle taffy, 110 calories in eight pieces. So I like taffy. I was, when we go to the beach, I always get saltwater taffy, but I will try this. These were for me. Although I will say I just started Noom. I don't know if you've seen ads for that or heard of it or ever tried it, but I like it so far. I may do a review of it once I get further along. I've only been doing it for about a week. So if you are interested in seeing anything about that app, I will uh, share about that in the future. I will probably start sharing a bit about that on Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, then I will put the link to that below. And actually, I might even put it right here. Um, so yeah, if you want to check out my Instagram, you'll see more of my personal life over there, but also um, I make announcements over there whenever I have new videos up on this channel. I found pumpkin pie spice, which is, I think they're really expensive. So I was happy to find that. We will use this quite a bit all through, all through the next several months we'll be using this in recipes. And I picked up actually two of these, but I already gave one to my son. It's the A&W Root Beer Mix, and you add it to just a single bottle of water, 
and it doesn't of course get fizzy or anything like that but it really does taste like root beer and he loves it so the only place I can find it actually is Dollar Tree and it is 10 calories in one packet I found this little um caddy like you know for all your bath products or for um craft stuff or you could use it for cleaning supplies I guess smaller cleaning supplies because it wouldn't really hold big stuff but I honestly forget why I bought this I had a purpose but this was like three weeks ago so I honestly don't remember but I will find a use for it if I don't think of what its original purpose was so I found these cute little containers they're really small it just says 10 reusable and mini containers um, cute little socks look how adorable these are they are um, hedgehogs look at those cute little hedgehogs the other it's two pack so you get this these other ones too with the polka dots which is also really cute but the hedgehogs are adorable this little thing just a small little wooden box or a little tray I picked up one of the houses these feel really sturdy and it's got a pretty pattern in there, but I will probably DIY it in some way or another. I found this sign that comes with the ribbon, but I do not plan on using it as is. I mean, the phrase is nice, but it's definitely not my style. Uh, it's pretty sturdy, but I see a lot of potential for things I could do with this. The heart on it is 3D. I would probably take that off. Then this plate, which... I thought this was kind of like a wood, but I don't know what I was thinking. It's more, it's, it's a plastic, it's a hard plastic. Yeah, it's a charger plate. Then I found this really cute little house. It's the thicker and it says gather. It's really cute as it is, it's really cute, but I may end up doing something to it. As you saw in the video, our Dollar Tree had a ton of yarns. Very excited to find fall colors. I picked up three of this really pretty like dark orange it's looking really bright because of the lighting in here but it's very soft and the yarn is thicker and so I picked up three of those I don't knit or crochet like Skylar and uh, Taylor my older daughter does too but I do use yarn in various crafts that I do picked up two of the black with Halloween coming this could be very handy picked up one white one of this muted gray i probably should have got more of this i picked up this sort of a dark pink color and one of this blue color which i like as well so it's down there then one of this golden yellow it's looking very bright in the camera but it is a little bit more gold than it appears so we are so happy to find all of this yarn what i picked up for michael's was not much so this part's going to be very quick but I did pick up this really pretty bin. The top of it is sort of like a burlap. And so it's decorated in all these flowers. It says fresh farmhouse flowers. And you see how it's got that brass or whatever, the shiny end on this end? Well, it was missing on this end. So it was on clearance. But they did, in. it was inside. So all I have to do is figure out how to reattach these, which I cannot be that complicated. There's always glue, nothing else, but hot glue it. So I will put that on there. And, uh, but that's a really good size for storage. It's super pretty. So as cute as this is, it was originally 25 and I got it for $5. So partly because it's out of season, partly because this piece was uh, off and I'm going to have to put that back on. But that is a fantastic deal. This is called Flannel and Football. And the, the jar color is sort of between a green and a gray. The cost is originally $5.99. These were on sale for $3.33. I just, there were a lot, a lot of them, but I have a lot of candles already, so I didn't want to go too nuts, but I did want a new fall scent. So I can't figure, it's not pumpkin. It, it is kind of like a spicy smell to it, but a little sweet. So it's not like anything I've specifically smelled before but it is a really, I think it's a combination of really good smells and it's a little sweet, a little spicy, but just smells really good. Also has kind of like a freshness to it. So then I came across these other candles that were on sale. These are going to be for my older two girls for Christmas. Now Skylar was with me. Now she knows that she's getting this for Christmas. It's one of her gifts, but 
she is totally fine with that. The original price on these is $14.99. They are, they have two wicks. I don't know if you can see that. But it's got like a wood top to it. And then the pink glass jar. And they had different size jars. But the, this big honky thing was only $3. And like I said, it was originally $15, $14.99. It was on an end cap on clearance. So it says it is soothing sandalwood and rose. And it is really a sweet, just really gentle, delicate, soft smell. And I love that little wood blade to it too. So that will be um, for each of my older girls. Taylor and Skylar. If you have watched my channel, you know that I shop all year long for my girls and my son for Christmas, for birthdays, you know, all the holidays because I like to gather things as the year goes on, look for good deals. And if you're interested in any of the videos of what I get my kids for different holidays, I will um, link those in the description box, box below. The last bit of this haul is from Ross. And I picked up this storage container that has a really cool design on it. And it was $4.99. They had different sizes of these, but this good size like this, this one was $4.99. Picked up this L'Oreal Revitalist. It was $9.99. It's an anti-wrinkle firming um, eye treatment. That's what this one is specifically. Right now I'm using a uh, one I got in a Fab Fit Fun and it was, um, oh, who is it? Dr. Brand. I think it's a Dr. Brand eye lift or uh, some sort of eye thing from Dr. Brand. Okay, so this is really tiny inside. That is a dinky little thing right there. So anyway, we will give that a try. I think I have had this before now that I think about it, but that was $10. I picked up this little face sponge. It was $2.49. I like it because I don't think I've seen them like this before with the bigger, with two, sort of like two different sizes on one. So it has the bigger part up here and then this smaller part where you could get into the more uh, tinier spots like around your eyes. So this is for myself. This is for me. And it was $2.50. Next, I picked up an eyelash curler for Alexa. She had been asking for one. This was $2.99. She's been actually waiting for this because I, I just was trying to find time to do this haul and it took me a while to get to it. So Alexa will be happy to get her eyelash curler. I picked up this set of combs and they are $2.99. And I like them because they're wide tooth and so I don't have to worry about like tangles and this up here you could even hang over your shower. Two of them for $2.99 I thought was a very good deal. A set of big razors, six razors for $5.49. I picked up this pack of face masks. There are 10 in here for $5.49. I picked up a pack for Skylar as well and she took those with her to Minnesota. Very handy packaging for travel as well. Now I'm going to show you what Skylar got. I have a voiceover for that and um, she didn't get nearly as much. And it was, um, I think hers was all from Dollar Tree. So first she got this notebook. It says You Glow Girl and it is a composition book by Jot. Next she got one of the mermaid pens like Alexa did and also a um, it's sort of like a gray velour feeling um, headband. Then, like I mentioned, she got one of these um, card games that is a trivia game about movies. We both thought this looked interesting and fun. She got a pack of these Nutter Butter Bites. And this was the sunflower mask that I had mentioned. She also took a bottle of ibuprofen and a set of the earplugs. You just never know if she has roommates whenever she gets there. Also, this pack of instant coffee. I think we got her two boxes of this. We got her a pack of the cotton rounds as well. These are very useful. And of course, you have to have a nightlight anytime you're going to be staying in an unfamiliar place. 
Um, we always take these when we travel to hotels too. If you made it this far through this video, I really, truly appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. It means a lot. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video in any way, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.